Lisa, it is so good to see you. Likewise. It's just so strange. We've been reminiscing over our years of knowing each other. Because, um, of course, you live now in Canada. Yep, that's right. Been here for 11 years now. I can't yeah. believe that. I can't believe that. But Lisa, you were, honestly, I can honestly say that you introduced me to agility when I first started Garland. I mean, I didn't really know much about dog agility at all. You introduced me to people, but you introduced me to the sport. And I hadn't really recognized how important it was and how popular it was. So you really introduced me to that. But then we started working together, didn't we? Because at that time you had, well, you've had some wonderful dogs, but Billy, the noble Billy Ottoman, is that right? Right, yes, bless his cotton socks. <laughs> so, I mean, do you want to just explain a little bit and, and sort of time-wise when we met and how we met and um, what it was like for you when we met with Billy? Yeah, so, well, you and I met doing the human uh, massage course. We did. We, did. Um, we were both students, and that was before you went off, I think, to the States to do your full training. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And we studied together and passed that, and then you started the Garland Therapy at the time, now Garland Maya Therapy, um, and Billy was my dog of the moment there's a picture of him back here oh, he yes he that was his first crafts picture um then he um he won out of starters and i was beginning to realize the potential and the fun and we were a team and i wanted to look after myself and my teammate and knew that um you had something on offer that could significantly help us mm. uh, ending movement understanding how muscles uh, and conditioning would help yeah. him stay fit and healthy as yeah. well as but the main need to stay fit and healthy um so i really appreciated that you'd uh, you'd enabled us to to learn about uh, the, the massage oh yeah. that's brilliant because that was way back in I suppose it was in 2004, three, four, something yeah. like that. Um, because with the greatest respect to Billy, he wasn't perhaps built or looked like he was built to be an athlete, but he really was, wasn't he? Yeah, he gave his all. He did really try hard. Yeah, he was a bigger body on little, on little yeah. legs. Yeah, he really was. But the thing is, you say about him being an athlete, and we're just saying about that, but... When I used to say to people, dogs are athletes, they laughed, didn't they? People in competitive world laugh. And you called Billy an athlete, which he absolutely was at the top of his game. And you can actually say what he won because he really, he just excelled and excelled, didn't he? But when you called Billy an athlete, what did people do? It, there was definitely a bit of smirking and like, you know, what do you mean? This is a dog kind of thing. Um, people didn't really take seriously what I was doing when I was warming no. him up. Ring because that was the thing, wasn't it? It was the warming up and warming down. No one did that, and I no. sort of brought it out. And I said to Lisa, I said to you, do you "What about warming up and warming down?" You went, "What? Yes, yes. that's yeah. what athletes do." And you just embraced it, didn't you? Yes, yeah, and it definitely made a difference, not only for the bond between him and I, yep. um, but for both of us to warm up, to be ready to go into the ring, to have a focus and a connection together. Mm. So that I'd given his muscles, he wasn't starting from cold, so there was less risk of injury for him and, and better performance from him. But yes, people were, did look at me oddly uh, on occasion or just poo pooed it, you know, if I conversations with people or say oh I'll be back in a minute I'm just going to warm my dog up and then oh okay well, yeah. bit. warm my or athlete dog up what? Yes. exactly with my therapist because there were no canine therapists were there no not at that time you definitely um you you got the ball rolling you kicked it all off for sure there was nice. no at that time 20 years ago I that's know. amazing I know it's not that long, but you were so instrumental in in showing 
that to everyone. Um, and it's nothing like, you know, I can stand and talk about it in a, in a uh, seminar or whatever, but to actually someone do it. But then what about all the success that Billy had? I mean, come on, tell us. Yeah. So uh, he won, he was runner up in the Ukanuba Circular Knockout in Crafts in mm-hmm. Five. Um, and Garland Therapy came with us. Remember, we had a mini. Bus, mini oh, bus. we were an official <laughs> contingent, weren't we? Absolutely. It was so much fun. Yeah. It was. And you recorded it for me, which is lovely to have that. Um, as a memory and then the next year we went with uh, Sue Dennison and Buddy. Billy was 10 so was Buddy. Um, we were in the mini maxi uh, pairs and they, came, they actually came seventh which for the two seven year two ten year olds um, was pretty good going. Absolutely. Um, yeah so very, very proud achievements that I got with Billy and yeah. of course I then could use the skill set, having learnt and, and understood how all the things that you taught and shared with with me. Um, I then went on to use those with Chi, who again was a very, very successful dog. No, we were top three, one of the top three in the UK in the mediums. You were, you were. really incredible. Um, but also what you wanted and I Uh, I gave was lots of treatment to Billy too um, in the lead up, not because he needed it, but just to make sure that he was in his optimum sort of state, wasn't he? But I, what I really remember so, so clearly, and I still tell the story now, is I used to come to your house to treat all your dogs, didn't I? Yes. And you remember them lining up. I know what you, yes. (laughs) And they used to queue, didn't they? Yes, they did. Billy would lead the way. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and it was then extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all and I and even with every dog that I've put my hands on since and we've we've had a fair few since Billy. Yeah. Um, or, or just that, like you do as a dog owner. Um, every time you put your hands on and they begin to realize how good it feels. Mm. They want to come back for more. Yeah. But I, they present once they once you've built the trust and they yeah. understand what it is they ask you for 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 the massage Absolutely. not in the pet dog would ask for a pet no i mean yes no. they'll get that but it's it's a different ask it's a presenting of the body and slowly like moving towards you instead of a like you know pet me pet me absolutely so you're saying then for <laughs> what well, nearly 20 years you have since learning it, you've you've seen the value in it, and you you're still using it now in all your dogs. Are you still doing any agility over in Canada? Yes, I don't, I don't compete. Um, I do foundation agility with all all the, all our dogs. We've had three mm. four new dogs, um, since coming here, and again I will use the warm up and the cool down. Um, we had a dog who needed a little bit of rehab because he's back end was a bit wobbly and again you know this just the ability to have that skill set to use to bond and bring a better life to the dog what is he on your um, improve your dog's health through canine massage I mean that just says it all because that's exactly what you can do when you use it absolutely and and that sorry you just need your hands that's it that's all you need you're absolutely right and of course you featured on our very first dvd yes yes. i've got it it. oh there it is there it is oh Uh, fantastic lisa and it's billy isn't it there you are oh look and we did thermal imaging too first people to do thermal imaging yeah george george George. yes George. Yeah, George. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, Lisa, honestly, um, I'm sure that, well, I know that we could talk for a lot longer. And I love the fact that you put on your original Garland, Garland yeah. Therapy Centre shirt. It was just brilliant. We had so much fun working with the dogs and watching you compete. And it was just, it was very humbling for me that to actually have you follow my advice and my program and 
and then to see all your success. But I just want to thank you for, for just being such an advocate and also trusting me all those years ago and still using it now. I, it's just, it's amazing. Thank you. It, it, well, thank you too, but it's so easy when it works so well. Well, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Lisa, we must catch up again soon. I've got to go. I've got to look through your gala memorabilia because I know you've got quite a lot there. Fantastic. Good to see you. And you take care too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.